Hey filmmakers, today I'm going to show you how you can take B-RAW files and convert them into ProRes so that you can quickly edit them inside of Final Cut Pro 10. So right now B-RAW really is only editable inside of two programs, DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro using a brand new plugin. That's really it. So if you edit inside of Final Cut Pro 10 or any other editor, you have to convert those files first into a ProRes file or something else that can be read by your editor. So let's open up DaVinci Resolve right now and I'll show you guys how to get this done. So first we're gonna open an untitled project and then right away I'm gonna go to my B-RAW files that I filmed with my camera and I'm just gonna select a couple for our example here and I'm going to drag and drop them right into the media pool. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to edit in the bottom little timeline here, select all the clips and drop them right onto the timeline. Once you've done that, we're going to go over to the color tab again at the bottom. And because these are B-RAW files, we want to take advantage of what B-RAW has to offer. So before exporting these as ProRes and getting everything baked in, we can go in and make some minor changes to the ISO and the exposure, tint, everything like that that you want before we take them out as ProRes. So I'll show you just quickly as an example how you can do that. Now I've selected the clip here and in the lower left hand corner you can see where it says camera raw and everything's grayed out. You can't actually make any changes yet and that's because you have to actually change this setting here and when I first started using DaVinci Resolve I was super confused and couldn't figure out how to change my B-RAW settings and it's just as simple as changing this decode using from project to clip and that'll allow you to individually change those clip settings. So let's say we want to brighten this up a little I'm going to change the ISO up to 640 ISO I can change the color temperature say I want it to be maybe a little bit warmer so we'll go to 6000 Kelvin you can of course change the tint with the slider here by adding magenta or green I don't want to do any so I'm going to set it back down to zero of course you can change the exposure as well by dragging this slider along again we don't want to do that so set that to zero and then you can go even more fine grain if you want you can change the saturation contrast etc all here you can even apply a LUT from here before exporting it and of course you have your curves line so if you want to do a quick little curve adjustment you can do that also I'm not going to get too detailed in this but you could do a bunch of color grading and adjustments before you export this as ProRes if you'd like to I'm just showing you that you can do that but for our purposes here, we're going to move right into exporting this footage now as ProRes files. So next we're going to click on the deliver tab. It's a little rocket icon. And then we want to select all the clips that we want to export. So I'm going to click on the first one, hold shift and click on the last one. And then up here in the left hand corner, I'm going to click on ProRes master. And then let's select where we want the files to go. So I want the files to go onto my hard drive and I'm just going to give it a name for the folder and it's going to be ProRes and I hit save and then we want them to render out all as individual clips not one giant timeline so select be sure to select that and then now we can select the actual quality of ProRes so if you want it to be high quality the largest possible quality file select that if you want to save a little space you can do light uh, but for our purposes we're going to do 422 right in between and then I'm gonna leave the rest of these settings here the same. If you just want this to be a 1080p timeline and not 6K like we shot it in, you could do that down resing here, but I want it to be the full 6K resolution, so I'm gonna change it to 6K here. And then I'm gonna leave the rest of these settings the same, advanced settings and subtitle settings. I don't need to actually touch, but you could go in there if there's other things you need to change. We'll go to audio, make sure everything looks good there. Uh, if you don't need to export out your audio and you just need the footage, you can of course uncheck that. I'm gonna leave it checked for now. And then we'll go over to file. And here I'm going to change the file name to source name. That means it'll keep the same name that the camera set it as. So if you need to do any color grading back in DaVinci Resolve again when you're done with your edit, everything, all the file names will all match up. So I'm gonna leave that the same. And then I'm actually gonna leave the rest of the settings here. And one final thing that's kind of cool to check out in this section is you can see how much disk space is used on the hard drive and how much will be used up after you export these clips. Now we're just about done. I'm going to hit add to render queue. And it's saying that the resolution is larger. That's fine, I'm gonna hit add. 
And then in the upper right hand corner here, you can see that it's job one, three clips, and it's going to the hard drive that I set it to. So you're going to now hit start render. And then we can see that it's going to take about, it's estimating that it's going to take about 55 minutes to complete the render. And you can see the little timeline down here and it'll move along and show the progress of it. So converting files from BRAW to ProRes does take some time. So if you have 50 or hundred clips, it's probably something that you want to do overnight. So for myself, after big project shoots, I always start this render and conversion to ProRes at night because it can run for 10, 12 hours sometimes. So that's just something to keep in mind. So we're going to let this export finish and then we'll come back and I'll show you guys how to get it into Final Cut Pro 10. All right, so now all the files have exported from DaVinci Resolve, and I'm gonna show you how to quickly put them into Final Cut Pro 10. So I've already created a new library for this. Let's now create a new project, and I'm just gonna call these B-Raw. And then the size I want it, of course, to again be in 6K. So I'm gonna change the resolution here. And then leave everything else alone and just hit OK. And then I'm going to open the finder to the spot where all the files exported and it actually exported more than just those two or three clips. So I'm going to drop those in now. And then I'm going to drag them right onto the timeline and I'm going to mute the audio here, but I'm going to show you guys how this should be able to play back smoothly right away with no rendering, no transcoding, anything like that, because Final Cut Pro 10 absolutely loves ProRes and it allows things to play back really smooth. So I'm gonna hit play here. And just like that, we're getting full playback with no frames dropped or anything like that. It's just so nice to be able to work in ProRes with full 6K files. And this isn't even a very quick computer. This is an older 2013 iMac and it's handling this 6K footage perfectly after I've converted it into ProRes. So it's absolutely amazing. So that's the quickest way that I know how to take B-RAW files from DaVinci Resolve and export them as ProRes files for editing in Final Cut Pro 10 and other programs. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, hit subscribe right now because I have a ton more videos coming out shooting, editing, lighting, everything like that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.